Hi, my name is Gary Springgarn. Today, I'll be talking about how you can use spectrometers for color measurements. Now, the visible light spectrum ranges from 390 nanometers to 700 nanometers. If you'd like to detect differences between individual wavelengths, you can't use the human eye. You need a highly sensitive, quantifiable spectrometer. Now, spectrometers have gone from huge instruments that can take up entire rooms and are reserved for qualified specialists to smaller, more agile, cost-effective, and user-friendly units. This has opened the door to brand new applications like color consistency in paint or consistency across textiles and fabrics. Today, however, I'll be discussing beer color. Why is beer color important? Uh, brewers use beer color as an indicating factor for the process and ingredients. The American Society of Brewing Chemists, on top of that, have put forth the Standard Reference Method, or SRM, for quantifying beer color. What is SRM? You take your beer and you pass 430 nanometer light through it. A weaker light comes out the other side, with some light being absorbed in the beer, and you measure. You get an absorbance factor, which is then multiplied times 12.7, which is the SRM factor. Your new number is your SRM number, and the higher your SRM, the darker your beer. So the entire process I laid out is something called transmission mode measurement. And it might seem a little bit cumbersome, and quite frankly, it is. Uh, I need my calibrated light source to be very dependable, and it's 430 nanometer light. I need a light guide to the beer. The beer needs to be a cubic centimeter in a cuvette. Another light guide to the spectrometer, and then signal going to your PC for analysis. It doesn't necessarily need to be this way. Uh, another strategy can be reflection mode. So with me today, I have a module which contains the C12666MA spectrometer, an Arduino Bluetooth board, and a white LED, uh, developed by Anshman Das at MIT Media Labs. This module will shine light onto the beer, and light will reflect back up into the spectrometer, to which we get a reading. The beer app, contained in an Android phone, will take this data and calculate the SRM number uh, using a preloaded set of spectral libraries on uh, manufacturing data from a lot of brewers. Now to clarify, if I have an absolutely brand new beer and I need to find some complete unknown data, you would need to do transmission mode. However, if you're looking to verify what beer you have, reflection mode makes a, a much easier strategy. So let's perform the experiment. Uh, I have the mo module, as I explained before, uh, the Android phone. I have a couple of chrome plated bases. Why chrome? Uh, the shiny surface helps with signal to noise ratio and reflection mode measurements, light bouncing back up. My beer, of course, uh, a clear cup, and a graduated cylinder to measure out five milliliters of beer. Why five milliliters? It's our calibrated path length. Whenever you do reflection mode measurements, you need to calibrate for path length. Now, uh, I will pour into my cylinder at a good angle. Uh, why am I pouring at an angle? I want to reduce bubbles and foam as much as I can because bubbles and foam are absolutely white and that will throw off your color measurement. All right, also with me today, I have a lighter beer sample prepared as well. And now we are ready to begin. So start to start, I will turn on my spectrometer module, bring up the app, connect through Bluetooth. To, for starters, I need to calibrate for dark reading to make sure we're measuring the proper signal. To do that, I'll initiate that on the app and cover the aperture and put it under the table to make sure absolutely no light is hitting the spectrometer. After that, I can save it and now I'm ready to begin. I will capture data. Let's do it on the first beer.
Light shines, reflection happens. I have the spectrum. Ask the app what it thinks. It says I have an SRM value of 11, and a commercial example would be Samuel Adams Boston Lager. All right. Now let's take a look at the lighter beer. Again, put in the module, shine the light. I get a spectra. Let's ask what the app thinks. I get an SRM of four, and it says a common example would be Heineken. OK. Well, of course, with me today, I have Heineken and Samuel Adams. Thanks so much for watching this video. Uh, if you'd like to read more about Ansh at MIT Media Labs or more about this experiment, uh, check out the links below.